Welcome to another MP4Nation.net play and review. Today we have the new Optimus Steel. Uh, it does have a nice metallic body frame. Uh, it does use a new JZ4740 chipset, exactly like the V2000SE and the Honda VX747. Unlike the VX, uh, sorry, the, unlike the V2000SE, this has a 2.8 inch QVGA screen. The V2000SE has a 3 inch LTPS screen. The LTPS screen completes kicks the ass of this QVGA screen. The QVGA screen is still good, but as you'll see on the video playback, and if you compare it to the V2000 SE video, it's not as good as a Q, it's not as good as a LTPS screen. Uh, it has exact same performance capabilities as the V2000. Everything else is exactly the same. The video playback and the audio playback. Uh, as it has a nice metallic frame, it's actually quite thin, very lightweight. It has a nice brushed metallic back here. It has 4 GB of internal memory. It does have a loudspeaker. It has expandable memory slot where you can add uh, mini SD cards. It does support SDHC cards. I've tried a 4 GB SDHC card on this and it's worked fine. Uh, apparently this chipset can support up to 32 GBs of external memory. I know that right now for mini SD I think the highest is 8 GB. There is a 16 GB like SD card. Possibly there will be future higher you know, memory for mini SD cards. But this player apparently can handle those. Uh, does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, an on-off button here. Uh, the USB slot port here is actually smaller than the normal 5-pin USB uh, port that most MP4 players have. So uh, you can't really lose your USB cable on this one. <laughs> uh, and here you'll see that the layout, as you see, is exactly the same as the V2000 SE. There's very little, there's almost, there's no difference actually. It has all the standard features. Go to your settings, you know, you have your different, you can choose your different themes. But for the sake of this video review, we're going to stick with the first one because it looks the best on the camera. And as you can see, the firmware, the this firmware, you can, will, and will get updates uh, for it. And one of the things you can look out for is that this will come with game emulation in the future. So you will be able to play like NES, SNES, probably Game Boy Advanced, uh, Neo Geo. I mean, this is basically like an alternative to the ADI chipset. Uh, anyways, uh, as for also for language, right now it only supports English, Chinese, and uh, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. I can't uh, speculate if there'll be further language support for this player in the future. Uh, anyway, let's go to start with the music. And some, as you see, it's the exact same layout as the V2000 SE. You can sort your songs by title, artist, album, or turn off the ordering completely. Some of our users have expressed that this is somewhat strange and does take getting used to. So, the audio on this through the headphones is really good, but I'll be the first one to admit it that the loudspeaker on this is, well, not very loud. <laughs> this is at its maximum, and uh, basically, if there's any sort of background noise, you really can't hear the audio out of the loudspeaker. For so, for the rest of the demonstration, I'm just going to hook up these small little external speakers. Anyway, the audio is quite nice. It's quite good. Not as good as an ADI, but still quite good. It does play MP3, WMA, FLAC, and APE file format. So it does play the lossless. It does have lyric support also. And you can easily fast forward songs in this. And you can multitask. There you go. And as you see the video here, you can have continuous play here for the video. You cannot have, uh, sorry, not you can have resume play here for the videos. There is no resume play for audio. So if you want to play audiobooks on this, this isn't the player for you. Uh, the video, when it comes to resume play, you can resume from the last place you watched your video for any video, so not just the last one you viewed, which is pretty cool. So you can you know go between different videos, uh, and again, it has great video performance. Uh, it can play videos at 30 frames per second. It supports AVI, RMVB, uh, FLV, ASF, WMV, MPEG, uh, DAT, and MOV file, MOV file formats. Uh, the good thing about this is that you can play high resolution uh, 
AVI files without any lip sync or lagging or any other problems that we saw with the ADI chipset. Same with the RMVB, you can play high resolution files. Uh, so you don't need to downscale your AVI files to like 320 by 240. The video I'm about to show you is actually in 640 by 480 and it, you'll see that there is actually no you know, lip sync issues or any like lagginess. It plays at full 30 frames per second. And as you see these numbers up here, the times, you can go into the options and remove it so you don't see those. Just for this, I've left it on. Full 30 frames per second. This video is in 640 by, uh, sorry, 640 by 480 resolution. As you can see, there's no lagginess. And you can even fast forward really easily. There you go. Fast forward's very fast. The video doesn't go out of sync or anything like that either. Even if you go way ahead. And say if you accidentally forward to the next video. I'll ask if you want to continue from last. That's for the next video. Got some cute little girl here. <laughs> But you can go back. And your video starts right from where you left it. As I said, the actual performance for video and audio on this is no different from the V2000 SC. The difference is in the screen quality. The LTPS is much better. This is a QVJ. Although it has decent viewing angles, it's just not as good as the LTPS. Anyways, you can exit, go back. Uh, the games on this, you, well, you really can't, <laughs> can't play the games on this because uh, they're the wrong way. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't, I'm not really sure if a firmware update will fix this or not, but <laughs> uh, right now the games on this, yeah, unless you really like playing up like this you really can't play this <laughs> or at least I can't play this anyway uh, now I gotta figure out how to get out of this oh bloody hell oh crap <laughs> just give me a second uh, for some reason the game is all in Chinese so yeah there we go the animation is basically you can it, it plays like shockwave files um, I've never really downloaded Shockwave files to play. I've downloaded FLV files, but uh, this is for Shockwave files. So if any of you that are interested in downloading Shockwave animations and wanting to play them, this is the player for you, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to just move on. <laughs> Let me just go back to pictures. And it does thumbnail all the pictures, so that's pretty cool. Oops. There we go. And there you can just revert, you know. The radio, it has, uh, it does support US, Europe, Japan, uh, different uh, regions. You can record from the FM on this, so it's pretty good. You have your voice record, let's see. Record from current radio station, that's one of the options. Your ebook which there are no files but it's much like the V2000 uh, you can does have uh, you can resume your ebook from where you last left off so here you have the new Optimus deal it's a generic version generic player that uses the new Jay-Z 4740 chipset it's a good build good quality it's backed by a one-year warranty the screen is good my only quip is that it's not as big as the V2000 SE and it's not a LTPS screen but then again this player is only $89.50 for the 4GB so it's damn cheap uh, this player probably uh, gives you the most bang for your buck for performance uh, if you're looking for really great video quality like the screen quality then look for the V2000 SE if you're not too picky if you've owned a QVGA screen you know what it's like then you're gonna love this player alright this is the Optimus Steel, 
head over to mp4nation.net to check this player out or to buy it or head over to our forums to discuss this. Thank you.